Heavy rainfall is causing landslides in the Highlands region. Last Friday, a church pastor was buried alive by a landslip at the Kundipi village in the lower Kaugil area of the Tambulnebilia district of Western Highlands province. The incident occurred over the weekend when the pastor was with his 14 other tribe, tribesmen who were travelling to another village when they stopped over to investigate a landslide in the area. While examining the area, another landslide occurred, trapping the pastor and another person while the others es escaped. The other person was removed and taken to the hospital whilst the pastor was buried by the landslip. Jack Tame with this report from Mount Hagen. A few months ago, this Kagul Valley was severely affected by the frost, and now the landslip has claimed this Nazarene pastor, Terry Mack. <laughs> A father of seven kids and a widower. It happened at nine o'clock on Saturday morning when soils with mixture of trees and stones fall from the steep hill. Kundipi Ward Councillor Jacob Jack confirmed that the sudden landslip buried him alive when he and other 14 tribesmen stood at the side examining the previous landslip while on their way to the other village. Well, uh, Friday and half and we come down. Now, blocking road. Now, morning and through all, all my life, I'm going to come. Now, uh, late past three, and one time will come. Long morning. Same time, grand group come down, nine o'clock straight. Now, all the monkey, put 15 plus, all the day will run away now. But one blood, eight blood has come out. Now, I'm not pulling that. She's still come out. Now, one blood and I'm still on ground. Ground is out of A relative of the deceased pastor, Namba Aine, said his brother would not have died if the construction company who constructed the road have done it properly. And therefore, he partly blamed the construction company for the pastor's death. The construction company was on the road then. He was in the pool of one year. He was in the pool of one year. He was in the pool of one year. Western Highlands Provincial Disaster Coordinator Robin Yakim and Red Cross Humanitarian Society Provincial Chairman David Knox were also at the site to confirm the accident. Jack Tame, NBC National News, Mount Hagen.